let there be any event or a war somewhere and we do not come across some absurd news of the western media that is quite impossible so the new york times has done it again by calling the hamas terrorists as mere gunmen yes you've heard it right hamas militants who infiltrated israel on october 7th and started killing israelis indiscriminately have been referred to by new york times as just gunmen in fact new york times replaced the word terrorist with gunmen in their news article titled hamas leaves trail of terror in israel which was published on october 10th to make it clearer nyt had initially correctly identified the terrorist as terrorist but to keep the flag of wokeism and whitewashing islamic terror flying high edited their copy to call them gunmen this is not the first time that the left liberal media has supported the cause of a jihadi terrorist Back in 2019, New York Times had published an article calling the unfortunate Pulwama terror attack as just one explosion. It received heavy backlash then, and so it changed it with just a bombing. In reality, Pakistan trade and backed terrorist Adil Ahmed Dar crashed his explosive-laden truck into a CRPF convoy, killing at least 40 Indian soldiers. Ahead of carrying out the terror attack, he had released a video where he had said he would want to kill those who drink cow urine, a clear jab on Hindus who consider cows holy. Since then, many Islamists as well as so-called liberals have often used cow piss drinker or gaw mutra jabs to mock Hindus. Not only NYT, but even Washington Post in one of its articles had glorified the ISIS chief Abu Bakr Al Baghdadi by calling him an austere religious scholar at the helm of Islamic State. This was right after Abu Bakr Al Baghdadi was killed. Later, after receiving heavy backlash, it replaced it with an extremist leader of Islamic State. Interestingly, what NYT did is not surprising. Many media houses, especially those who identify themselves as gatekeepers of liberal values, often go out of their way to whitewash terrorism. Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, the Canadian state-run media, gives strict guidelines to its reporters to not to use the word terrorists to refer to Hamas terrorists who killed Israelis. Do not refer to militants, soldiers, or anyone else as terrorists. The notion of terrorism remains heavily politicized and is part of the story. CBC's director of journalistic standards, George Arkey, wrote in an email to employees on Saturday. In fact, he had even said that while quoting an Israeli or any other government official who are referring to so-called fighters as terrorists, the reports should add context that this is an opinion and not a fact. What CBC has done is nothing new and a standard operating practice in major mainstream media houses, which is why many in India too have almost always referred to Kashmiri terrorists as fighters and humanized them often as son of school teacher, even as they killed thousands of Hindus for their faith. 